Hello everybody, it's Chris and this is the Pimega version 1.4 for the Raspberry Pi uh, model 4 or the 400 here. All this is free to use. It does not contain an Amiga OS ROM for legality reasons. So you will have to provide your own ROM image. They will not be given out because they're not mine to give out. What you're going to do is you can take any size micro SD card after you acquire the image. Mm. This one was built on a 32 gig, so that is your minimal uh, size. You can use a larger card if you would like. What you're going to do is this. Once you finish your card, you can go ahead and eject it and then reinsert it. You will then get a boot and a kick partition and on Windows you're going to get another partition that is unreadable. On mine you're going to see I've copied my ROM. You're going to need to copy a kick 31 a1200.rom and a ROM key. It is clearly written in the instructions that you need to do this. Uh, some of the emulated ROMs do not require a key. If you do have an unencrypted ROM from Amiga Forever, make sure you launch Amiga Forever before you copy your ROM so it unencrypts them properly. Once you're done, eject, take your card out, literally put it right in to the back of this. Go ahead and plug a USB drive in before you power it on and then give her the onions. And it'll boot. See your power light is on here. With the USB in, it'll have a USB drive mounted on the desktop for you. Yeah. It also talks on boot 544014. Boom. There you go. It has a randomized backdrop. If you don't like the backdrop, right click go to patterns and just choose something else and it'll update dynamically there's a new picture every boot uh, I don't like that one either let's uh do uh, materials and I don't like the leather couch one too watch it be that one okay close enough anyway you have all of your normal uh, quick use program in system programs it's been cleaned up a little bit uh, the same amount of programs, if not more, are on here, but it's been added to folders, like now we have a benchmarks folder. We have a uh, word processors folder. They are in alphabetical order from top to bottom, so if you're looking for something, remember top to bottom, it will be there. Uh, also, there are programs outside of programs, audio programs emulator. I just wanted to show you something real quick on Shapeshifter. If you're having some weirdness with Shapeshifter, here's what I do. I press function F2, which is F12 on a regular Pi. Slap her to 68040 and then go ahead and go into uh, your emulation emulators and Shapeshifter and what I do is I run this run Shapey. It was a hidden so I just unhid it you're going to get a cannot open selected source file. Don't worry about that. Then you can go ahead and enter one of the 755s and just run Shapeshifter and she'll load. I've pre-configured it for the basic resolution. If you want to tweak it, feel free. Use the UAE resolutions. And then just hit start and the Macintosh side will load. If you have any weirdness, remember you have to change it to 68 or 40. The mouse is not great. But functional, yes. The Pi is just too weak. Maybe when we get around the 64-bit and can really punch the CPU and overclock, we'll be good. When you're done, don't forget to throttle back down or you'll just start having some crazy weirdness issues. Like I said, the 68030, 68040 are emulated a little slower, but sometimes you have to use them. But that's about all I got for Shapeshifter. Everything else is so Workbench games which is different from games, graphics, like I said, it's got a lot of stuff on here. Enjoy it, use it, play with it. Uh, the 2020 versions of uh, GoADF 
SMB Mounter, AWeb, Eagle Player, Amiga Amp, the new iGame that does not crash when you quit. The original 1213, when you would exit iGame, you would get a Guru. Now you can quit. When you launch Reva Player, you can choose any movie you want. She plays good. So, with that, that's pretty much Pymiga 1.4. She's free, it's available for you to enjoy. Just provide your own kickstart. ROM, please read the README file and don't comment with about 800 questions or comments down below. While they're appreciated, please, again, read the README file. If there's any questions that are not covered in the README file, or you can comment here and we'll do our best to answer. But that's it, I'm taking a break for a while. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.